All right, everyone. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about HTML ID attribute. Okay, in the previous video, we talked about the class attribute. So now we will talk about the ID attribute. Okay, so HTML ID attribute, how to use that with HTML, CSS, and all of that. Okay, so the ID attribute is used if you want to specify the a unique ID for an HTML element in your document. So it is going to allocate the ID which is used by the CSS and the JavaScript, for example, if you want to perform some specific tasks. Okay, so in uh, CSS, we can easily select an element with this specific ID by using the sharp symbol. For example, here we have ID toggle button. So here in my style element, if I want to assign some uh, CSS properties to this particular element by using the ID, I will say sharp symbol like this. And then the name of the ID that will be toggle button. And then inside I can say color, colon, red, semicolon. So this is how you specify an ID. So now you can see the color of the button text is red because of what I have specified here. We can also access um, an element with a given ID by using the get element by ID method, okay, in JavaScript. But I'm going to show you that in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so if you want to specify an ID to a particular element, so you write ID inside the opening um, tag of that particular element. So you will write ID equal, and then you assign the value to the ID. And if you want to declare that ID, in your CSS, so you write the sharp sign and then the name, you know, the value that you assign to the ID of the particular element. And that's just what I have showed you. So here, for example, I can have, let me just remove this for the moment. For example, if I have, uh, let's say, H to say id uh also paris for example this is just an example okay so let's say paris uh, h2 close that i need maybe two more here Okay, so instead of Paris, I'll say um, continent. And this will be continent. And here I'll say country. The text will be country. And this third ID will be city. And here I'll say city. So now, so this is how you actually write your ID in your HTML element. ID equal and then you assign a value. So here, continent will be lowercase c. In your CSS, so we we'll come inside our style here. If I want to style the first ID, which is continent, I'll say style like this, uh, sharp sign, and continent. And then inside I can give a background color property. And uh, I will say blue, for example, semicolon. So now you see the background color. Uh, and then I can say padding. Padding. 
you know so this pattern is going to be effective for the top the bottom the left and right okay uh so this one i would say 20 pixels for example so if i say pattern like this uh, 20 pixels 20 there you can see the pattern and i can say color white yeah there you can see the color maybe text align i would say center yeah so now you can see how the text is going to be aligned so that's for continent i want to do the same for the second and the third element so the second element is country so i'll say country like this so if i do country like this now you will see country will also have the same style what if i change the background color and say red like this now you can see it will be red and maybe increase the pattern yeah i would do for the third one which is going to be uh i called it city maybe work a little bit on the background color say purple and here if i say 40 pixels for the pattern and there you can see how this is showing so that's how you can actually you know work with ids in the css okay how you can uh declare that uh in your css and all of that okay so now let's talk about how we can use the id in um in javascript so this is in css how you can use your id okay if we add an external css we could write you know our id inside the external css file as well okay yeah so now let's just uh, remove that i'm going to write some other portion of code uh, in order to show you how you can use the id in javascript okay so let's just write some portion of code here maybe we we'll simply say label um as for the label we we'll say student student name and then let me close the label like this and i will break line break line and um so before breaking line here i will say input i'll say type is going to be um, a text field so type text in the double quotes here maybe uh placeholder equal double quotes enter your name like this so that's it and um let me copy this paste it down here so i'll add another label and say date of birth and um 
down here, I will need to have another input that of type date, like this. And then here I'm going to specify uh, an ID. I'll call it date of birth, like this. And then the last one will be another input that will be um, a button. Okay, so I'll say button like this. And That particular button, I will say submit as a text and button. Okay, and I will break line like this. So, what we are going to try to do is that. Um, if the user clicks on the particular button here, we want our web page to show the date of birth of the student. So when you click submit, we want to see the result here you now to show the date of birth of the student shown here. And in order to do that, we are going to use CS uh, JavaScript and uh, all right, so since we want the result to show down here, we are going to add uh, another HTML element here. We will say h1 and we we'll say close h1 like this. Okay. So now in our JavaScript code, we will need to write a function. So that function will be function, we will call it view date. Open and close the bracket. Open and close the curly braces. We are going to have our variable x is equal to document that get element. So here we say get element by ID. And what do we want to get here? We want to get the um, date of birth so get element by id we need to specify this particular id so i'll simply copy that come inside here inside the double quotes i'm going to paste my id and we want to get the value okay so we say that the value and then semicolon so that's our variable so now we will say document that get element by ID. Yeah, so this line of code is going to make sure that we are going to, uh, where we are going to output, you know, the value that we will get from here. We want to output it inside this H1 element. So what we're going to do, we need to specify its ID. And we are going to call it um, DOB underscore display. Okay, so now that's what we're going to use here. So we will copy that and here we say DOB display that 
inner HTML and equal to X. Okay, so simply what we're going to do here is that we want to set the text, the content of this H1 tag to be equal to the value that we will get on this line. That's why we are assigning X here. So that's basically what we mean by that. So now this is our function. What we need to do is that we want to use that particular function on the button. So as I was telling you, we want to make sure that when we click on this button, we want to show that uh, particular uh, date of birth on the screen. So we say on click. So whenever we click on that, um, so on click is equal to, and here we need to specify the name of our function. So we say on click and then view date like this. So now if I write the name John Doe and that's birth. So now when I click on submit, there you can see the text here. And now you see You know, uh, another thing, um, since here we are simply displaying, you know, the date of birth, what if we want, also want to display whatever the user types inside the student name field here? So we will simply do the same thing. Huh? So, um, we will need to add an ID to our input here. We say name as the ID uh, here we are going to say h1 and call this name display and then we are going to have another variable that is going to store the value uh, that will be assigned or that will be entered inside the text field here so we say get element by id we need to specify the id of the input that is name and then we are going to specify that here document that get element and uh, where we need to be displayed say name underscore display in html is equal to Y, okay, so Y is the variable here that is going to allow us to capture, you know, the value entered inside the text field. So once that's done, if I write John Doe here and click on submit, there you have the name we've entered and then the date we also assigned, we, we entered. So guys, that's basically how you can work with ID using CSS, um, you know, with uh, JavaScript as well, how you declare it, how you create your, you can assign an ID to your HTML element like this. In uh, CSS, how you declare that as well in order to apply some CSS properties to the element related to that ID, how you can also work with ID in the javascript here creating your script as we have done in the video here so guys i hope it was informative if you still have questions on this um video what we have discussed in this video feel free to write in the comment section and um, don't forget to like share and subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos like this one